Hi, I'm Discipline Dave, where I put the technique in your physique. Today, we're gonna work out your chest the most effective way using weights and resistance bands. But first, this video is sponsored by Dualnamic. Dualnamic is a fitness equipment company and they have developed the world's best pull-up device called the Alivia. It is the first portable doorway exercise equipment that is built with versatility in mind and it won't mark up your door frame and walls like other home pull-up bars. The options are anything but limited with different attachments for different exercises, including climbing and gymnastics. This system is carry on freely and easy to both install and use. It is meticulously engineered through FEA and prototypes and is manufactured to the highest standards. Alivia is a favorite training tool loved by American Ninja Warriors, climbers, and fitness enthusiasts. Click the link in the description to find out more about Alivia and purchase yours today. The reason why I'm making this video is I just completed a resistance band workout series and I asked the subscribers in the last video if they would like to see a video using weights and bands. And the response was an overwhelming yes. After filming this video, one, I know that this will help out a lot of people. And two, it will work out your chest harder than you can imagine. I mean, Take a look at this sweat. The reason why it's gonna work out your chest harder is because resistance bands alone are so effective in developing muscle because it helps the body maintain tension throughout the exercise. For example, as you stretch the band, the movement in the exercise becomes harder, but sometimes it may not be enough resistance for some people. And what's good about weights is that it provides maximum overload to force your muscles to adapt to the heavier weight, so your muscles grow to adapt to the resistance over time but the downfall is that the weight resistance can vary on how tough the exercise is depending on which part of the movement you are doing in the exercise. So we are combining the two to get the best results possible so you can get that physique you've always wanted. And the good news is you don't really even need heavy weights to get results. So anybody can do this. During this workout, I will only be using 25 pound dumbbells, under sun fitness loop bands, and a weight bench. I have links to all these items in the description below. During each exercise, I will be giving technique tips like this, so you know the correct form and technique for every exercise. So I recommend watching this video until the end the first time, so you know the proper form and technique. And then after that, go ahead and follow along to the workout. Now with no further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start off with the Undersun Heavy Band and I'm gonna go ahead and get that weight bench out. And this is the setup for this first exercise. Now I'm gonna show you different ways that you can set this up. So the first way is that you can lay the band flat across the end of the bench like this. Or you can put a weight plate or a dumbbell at the bottom and create tension this way. Or you can just wrap it around on a loop like that on the pole in the back if you have this type of bench. Now I'm going to go ahead and move the dumbbells close to my feet and make sure my feet are on the inner portion. Now I'm going to take that band, put it around my chest, bring it to my waist, lift up, grab the dumbbell, and hook it on the end of each of the dumbbells. Now it's time to lay back and put our arms in position to do a dumbbell bench press. Now the great thing about the dumbbell bench press is that you can squeeze those arms forward and squeeze that chest for a better contraction than a barbell. So you want to bring those elbows all the way down and you want to squeeze that chest at the top. I want you to think about bringing your biceps in closer as you come to the top. This resistance is really going to help us make it tougher as we go all the way up. Now for our next exercise, we're going to continue to use the bench, but we're just going to bring it up for an incline. Now we're going to go ahead and put the dumbbells like this. So take a look at this setup. I'm going to show you a little bit more of a closer view right over here. So as you see how we're making this triangle, 
and we're using the end of that bench to brace it and you can still use any of those type of anchors like using a dumbbell or a plate if you want to use those if you prefer that method but I'm just showing you how the setup is going to be before we start doing incline dumbbell presses now take a look how I have in my fingers how the band is going in between right there in between my middle and my ring finger I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and then after I grab it I'm just gonna go ahead and lean back to get in position to press up so the same thing but we're working out the upper portion of our chest with an incline so as you press up make sure your feet are planted and bring those elbows down again to fully expand your chest and squeeze at the top what develops a, a muscle is that you want the most amount of stretch and the most amount of contraction squeeze Now if you like the workout so far, don't forget to leave a comment and let me know if you'd like to see more workouts with weights and bands. And don't forget to hit that like button, and if you love the video, hit that super thanks button. Now this next exercise is going to require a door anchor. I'll leave a link in the one that I'm using in the description below. That way you can follow along with this one. You don't have to use this one and you don't have to use these bands, but the ones that I am using are by Undersun. This is their light band. If you want to go ahead and purchase those, I will have a link in the description below. So go ahead and wrap your band around your dirt anchor, and then you're going to go and put that band around your dumbbells. So just place it just like this on both of them. And then after that, just place them down on the ground and turn around, grab the weights and you're going to put them in between your ring and your middle finger. Go ahead and get a position to do an incline fly. Now this is good because you're going to get even more resistance than you normally would with cable flies or just using a band but you wanna make sure that your back is straight and you're only pressing up for your chest to work out that upper portion of your chest. Now you're pulling up and you're squeezing. This one's gonna be really tough. So if you need to go lighter in weight, do that. For this next exercise, we're gonna use a light band and get on the ground and wrap it around your back just like this grab your dumbbells and put it around the dumbbells just like so now we're going to get in push-up position so we can get ready to do some resistant push-ups now this is going to add tension as you go up to really contract that chest so you want to make sure your back is straight you have good form as you press up and when you get to the top just do a little pause and make sure you're squeezing your chest. Now, if you've been working out for some time and not seeing results, Go ahead and check out this video where I show you how to work out smarter and not harder. And if you're ready to go ahead and work out some other body parts, go ahead and check out this video next.